Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Modicon M2, 2, 1. I'm your host, Leandro Romada, and in this video, what we're going to see are the elements loops that we have in the software. So let's go to the presentation. So basically, the loop element that we have uh, is something that we call for that we use in different other languages and other softwares. Okay, but the thing is that the for is commonly used in a structured test okay so probably in ladders a little bit um weird to have it but we have it okay so basically the four allow me to have a variable that will be increasing over the time until uh it reach the defined value that we want so you can execute between the lines that you define what you want okay i usually use it for arrays okay uh, so here I wasn't able to find that real example to show you how it works, but at least I'm going to show you um, uh, how you can install it and use it in case you need it. So let me just put the to, to, to the panel here. So so the element that we have is the four, okay, and with each four it aligns with the end of the four okay so once if we want to use one loop we need to use these two elements okay as you can see here you have like an instance for the four that you are going to use okay so the four will require this percentage nw value that is going to be a step by step increasing okay and if we click on this element over here we can see the configuration okay so something important if we use the N4, okay, if we have the end over here, we cannot use something over here, okay? So if we continue with this, in order to add this loop element, which is the four, what we need to do is to go to programming tab, select the other functionalities that we have and select the loop. In the loop, we have the four and the end four. So we just need to click and then click in our code where we want to use it. So once we added the four and the n four, okay, we have our code, okay, in one in case we want to do something over here, okay, and if we want to add more more things to do, we can create ranks. So everything between the rank where the four is and the n four will be executed the amount of times, okay, that we have configured over here, okay, so. Now, once we open this uh, configuration button over here, we can see that we have the loop counter initial value, the sign that will be the comparison until it reaches the value, okay, and the end value, and also the increments of the step. So, for the loop counter, what we have is the variable that we're going to be increased, percentage NW, then the initial value, so it will start and what value so i have the value okay this will be the increments for example so this one will be the value percentage and the view so i usually start in zero okay so this will be my start for the initial value and then i can specify the the maximum value that we'll have okay if the increment is by one two three we can see that it's going to be like this okay until it reached the value okay that we're gonna have over here the end value the end value then we have the possibility to define when it's going to be activated if it's equal if it's bigger or it's different that will be the the condition okay so uh initial value over here do, do, do. yeah basically it's that so what i want to show you is this example that i have over here this is going to be fast uh, because as i mentioned before okay i usually use this on on text to um to go in an array so i didn't come up with something to be honest to show you um i didn't come up with something and i don't think that i can 
go inside the pit in a world um i don't think so so that's why i come up with this simple so um just to show you again if you want to add the the uh the four you just need to go here into additional and then you have the loop you have four and then four just click over there to the four you can see that i have a number one now because i already have the zero okay and then if i want to end this I just need to use the loop and for and put it over here. Okay. That's it. Up ah, here, number one should be. Okay, number one. Ah, that's it. <laughs> so if we simulate this, okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Simulation. We just made a comparison in each step so it will reach basically this configuration is using the percentage nw9 okay the initial value is going to be zero okay every time it executes it's going to be zero okay and then it will increment by one and it until it reaches the value five so just to show you how it's going to be incrementing i just add some variables over here that's all so exit that and you can see there is counting over here so you see the counting okay on all the values and you cannot see it properly but it's increasing okay so it will reach until it reaches the number uh by and then okay reach the number six but it's not going to be executed again and it will make the four so Basically, I use this in a structure test that we are going to see that much better when we use the software for the um, EcoStructure Machine Expert for the M241 and the M262. Okay. Um, but at the moment, this is what I can show you how you can use the four. Okay. Um, at the moment, I wasn't, I wasn't able to come up with something to show you how it works. But at least you know how to configure it in case you need it and you find the application. So thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one.